this is the academic word tutorials um, and these tutorials are going to teach you tips and tricks that will help you uh, with your assignments and that kind of thing okay so um, let's just begin um, initially there there's a couple of things uh, that you probably shouldn't do like for example this is a uh, copy pasted um, set of text straight from the internet okay and this is the you know rules 101 you don't do this uh, because it's plagiarism okay so make sure you don't copy and paste things on and try and submit it as your own work um, but in this case for the purpose of this tutorial I didn't want to have to write all this by myself so uh, I've just pasted it here and you can pretend that I wrote it okay um, there's a couple of things that we want to get rid of um, and I'm going to teach you how to do that quickly so for example we've got these uh, little 22s in brackets what these are, are actually references okay and so this 22 represents a source that was used to write this article and if you go back to our honey badger thing and we scroll down you'll notice that there are a whole bunch of references here and number 22 we've got this 1974 book that was what 22 is referencing here okay so that's what these numbers are but we don't want them um, just for the sake of this tutorial, normally you would reference everything that you use and you can see that down here I've referenced the Wikipedia article that I've got this from um, but to get rid of these quickly we could individually click on find them all but there's one here and there's one here and there's one here and it would be annoying to have to go through and click them all so we're going to use a find and replace function and to do that on Word we do control H I know you'd think in your head let's do control F but that'll just bring up the navigation pane and I'll let you find things but not really do a great deal with it so control H brings up the find and replace option okay and now we can pretty much type anything in here Word will find it and change it okay if you're on find then just click on the replace tab find what we would we want to get square bracket 22 square bracket so we're gonna find anywhere in Word that has that and we're gonna replace it with nothing so we're just gonna leave it blank okay now more options um, this allows us to pick things like case sensitivity um, make sure they're whole words and that kind of thing but we're just gonna go with this now we're gonna find and replace all of them so see with the replace all option click that word has changed it four times and now all those 22's are gone okay now I understand there was only four of them not that bad but when you've got a word document with maybe a one word that you've typed incorrectly maybe 40 times it is much easier to say control H and replace maybe the word honey with capital honey okay which you wouldn't have to but for the example it'll save you a lot of time okay so that's the find and replace option really useful saves you tons of time if you mess something up or need to go through and change something next up we're gonna take a look at the thesaurus okay and we use this to um, make our language sound a little bit better so just say we are reading along this sentence says honey badgers are intelligent animals um, we might want to use a different word uh, to make it sound a little bit better so we're going to double click on intelligent and if we press shift F7 that will bring up the thesaurus um, and we can change the word so in this case I'm going to go to with clever I'm going to choose clever and press insert this little option here and it's changed that word from intelligent to clever okay so this can be used for heaps of different reasons maybe you just want to jazz up your language a little bit um, alternatively you can you know search it up on the internet and you can find probably more words than um, word will supply for you but um, generally speaking there's quite a few in the thesaurus um, you'll notice that word is automatically highlighted words that it thinks are misspelt okay sometimes word is incorrect sometimes it isn't um, but in this case I'm just going to ignore it because that looks like a scientific word that word doesn't know so I'm just going to ignore that so that's part one done for this academic tutorial you've learned how to find and replace and you've learned how to use the thesaurus thesaurus I'll get there eventually um, save your work and then we're going to move on to lesson two